going right. Thank you, sir. Michael and Melody, welcome. You have come today to be joined in holy matrimony. Marriage is holy because God is a holy God, and He has ordained marriage for the best interest of mankind. Marriage is a time where the growing love is made public, when a man and a woman commit their love and life with promises to one another in the presence of God and witnesses. And for that reason, your friends are welcome by you to share this joyous occasion. The foundation of your marriage is built upon the love you have for each other. It has been said that love in the context of marriage wants to give. And because it does, its primary goal and purpose is to make the other person happy. And love is also the soil and climate in, in which each of you can flourish far superior to what Ada could achieve alone. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we come unto you today with grateful hearts. And Lord, I pray for these two precious individuals that more of your grace and mercy be upon them as they be united in holy matrimony. This is my prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. A marriage is a promise that two hearts gladly make. A promise to be tender, to help, to care, to give, and to save. Marriage is a promise to share one life together. A love-filled promise is meant to be kept forever. May this be the end for your search for a lifetime partner. And the next years to come just be years of anniversary. And that will be a better one. All right. Michael, do you take Melody to be your wedded wife and promise to love her, honor her, and cherish her for as long as you both shall live? Melody, do you take Michael to be your wedded husband and promise to love him, honor him, and cherish him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Now please face each other and hold both hands. 
Can you repeat after me? These are your vows. And as you do, just look into the beautiful eyes of your bride and into the eyes of your groom. Let's begin with the groom. I, Michael, I, Michael, take your melody, take your melody, to be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Honor you. Honor you. And cherish you. And cherish you. To be faithful and true. To be faithful and true. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. To not cry. I Melody. I Melody. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Honor you. Honor you. And cherish you. And cherish you. To be faithful and true. To be faithful and true. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Now are you giving and receiving the wings to seal your covenant? Get the wing for the bride, please give it to the groom, and for the groom, please give it to the bride. Get the wings, I mean. At this point of time, I don't know, hold, hold you. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say something about the beauty of wings. And as I do, feel free to look at your wings. The marriage wing is in a broken circle what symbolizes your unending and everlasting love. And it is a visible symbol which represents your inner commitment to each other. May your lives be blessed with everlasting happiness. Now I ask the groom to give the bride her wing and place her one on her lap. Wing finger. Now please words with me. Melody, with this way, I be with to have and to hold, to love and to cherish all the days of my life. Now the wait for him, place the one on his lap. Choosing a wing as a symbol of your marriage covenant. Always remember this that those wings are the most significant wings you will ever wear in this life. The marriage wing stands for purity, trust, faith, hope, and love. Everything that marriage should be. Now let me spouse, please. At this point of time, I would like to say something about the beauty of flowers in marriage, and you are free again to look into each other's eyes. And here it goes. <laughs> flowers speak of the following. My beloved is mine, and I am his. He feeds among the lilies. Until the daybreak comes and the shadows flee away. Flowers appear on earth. The time of singing comes. May your love, marriage, and home be filled with beauty from the Lord. Let me pray for you one more time. Lord, you have heard the commitment to each other. I pray, O oh God, give them the courage and the strength to fulfill until the very end. In your name, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Now love is patient and love is kind. Love does not envy and does not boast. Love is not proud, is not rude and self-seeking, but easily angered when done when one does the wrong thing. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, 
but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and is always long suffering. Love never fails. And for the two of you to achieve that level of love in your marriage and home, let the Lord of love dwell in your hearts. His name is Jesus. He died for you to save you. And if you will do that, eternal life, peace, and joy will be yours in him. The most wonderful gift. Let's go to the final moment. For as much as you have made your vows to each other as husband and wife, in the presence of all these honorable and distinguished guests of yours, I, Reverend Robert M. Bindoy, a minister of the gospel, and by the authority visit upon me by the street of Nevada, on this day, the 8th of July, 2006, I now declare Michael and Melody as man. It is time to kiss. Pride and come on, face each other. <laughs> <laughs>